Today we're going to look at the best way to get a superb cutout in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to remove the background, but we can't do this in Illustrator alone. We're going to have to enlist the help of Adobe Photoshop. So you can see I've opened up this image in Illustrator, and the reality is that there aren't any clever ways to cut this out in Illustrator. What you could do, for example, is select the pen tool, and then zoom in nice and close, and spend about 10 minutes or so cutting out the subject. I'm going to do this really badly and really quickly just to show you. Obviously, this is awful. Please don't do this. And then what I can do is select the shape, make sure the shape is on top, hold shift and select the image as well. Right click and then select make clipping mask. And if you took the time to pen tool your subject accurately, you will get a pretty decent cutout. However, the second you have things like hair or smaller details in your photo, this technique isn't going to work. So. Let's go and select this, right click, and release that clipping mask. Let's just get rid of that terrible shape first. There we go, and we're back to the original photo. Now if I select this, in the latest version of Illustrator we have this contextual taskbar that you can see at the top, and I think it's version 27.9, and on this bar we have a Photoshop icon. So let's go and click on this, and let's navigate over to my desktop, and it's asking us to save this as a PSD. So let's just call this Flazzle Doodle McWinkle Pop. There we go. And press return. And that is now saved as a PSD. File successfully saved. To replace the embedded image with the edited file, use Relink from the Links panel. Thank you for that pop up. You can now go away. And it opens the image in Photoshop. Now, of course, there are many ways to make selections in Photoshop. But for something like this, the quickest is just to select one of the selection tools. So let's go with this one here. Doesn't matter which one. And we're going to go up and check Enhance Edge. I'm also going to go to this drop down and select Cloud. This is going to give me a better, more detailed result. And then I'm going to click Select Subject. And just like that, I get a selection. And then from the bottom of the Layers panel, I'm going to go and add a layer mask. Let's save the document with Command or Control S. Switch back into Illustrator, and you can see nothing's changed, which isn't ideal. But don't worry, the way we get around this is by going up to Window, and then down to Links. Now let's bring this panel up here. I think we'll put you in the top right corner. There we go. And that's what I think the pop-up was trying to tell us. We need to go and relink this. So let's go down here to Relink, and then we're going to relink this to the PSD file. Now I would also recommend going down here and selecting Link. This will link the location of this PSD file to your Illustrator document. So any changes that you make to the PSD file, let's say you go and refine that selection a bit further, they will be updated in the main Illustrator document. But if you don't want that and you'd like to simply embed this image into the Illustrator file, then simply uncheck this. Anyway, let's go and click Place. Flatten layers to a single image is good. Click OK. And there we go, it pulls through that PSD file with the transparency as well. And with a photo like this, this technique will always give you a much more detailed result than anything you could do with just Illustrator. So now I've cut the subject out. Let's grab the rectangle tool. Let's draw a box. And use the eyedropper tool to sample a nice yellow color. We'll send that behind. And we can even select the subject, go to Effect, Stylize, and select something like Drop Shadow. And the Drop Shadow itself will be applied to the cutout of the subject. So there we go, that's the technique I use, Illustrator and Photoshop working together. But if you've got a better technique, please do let me and everyone know down in the comments. But as always, take care, and I'll see you next time.